this is Chris from vitamincm.com. Today we're going to work with a note-taking application called Evernote. You can go to evernote.com and sign up. You can get a free membership. There's also software that you can download. There's software for Mac. There's software for PC. There's no software currently for Linux, but there's a web interface that you can use to access your notes to create notes as well. So if you look here on the computer that I have Linux on, you can see in the web-based interface all of my notes that I have up. Now you can capture notes in text, you can use images, you can record audio, video, you can use clips from the web. If you look here on the Mac, I have up the desktop client for Evernote and I also have the desktop client for Evernote up on the PC here. So if I want to create a new note, I'm going to go over to the PC here. I'm going to make a text note. So I'll select all this text, copy it, then I'll come over to the desktop application and I'll click new note. And I'm just going to paste that text in. So text from Windows PC and then I will save it. You can add tags to the note. Etc. So now, the other thing you want to do, if you go on Tools and say Synchronize, that's going to do is it's going to load all your notes back up to the web and then it will push it down to the clients that you have on any other, machine. other machine. So if I go back here to Linux, where I have the web interface up, and I hit the Synchronize, it should pull in that new note that I just created. So you see this is the note that I just created. If I go over here to the Mac and I hit synchronize, same thing, it will pull in the new text. Now there's some other things that you can do. Mac version, it's uh, connected to the iSight webcam. So if I click iSight note, it will just start taking a picture. I can either take a picture or a video. So if I say take video, it counts it down and then it starts. So it records it. Then if I say add to Evernote, it will record it. And that's it. I can put tags on it, whatever. So I'll just click sync and it will synchronize it. Now if there were any text, if I was taking a picture or something, it would show it would try and decode the text in the email and put it into text so that I could search on it later on. Now, there's a couple other things. There's also an application for the iPhone and for Windows Mobile, which I have a, a Windows Mobile phone here and an iPhone. So if I scroll them down, you can see all my notes. I can open them. If I'm on my, uh, my Windows Mobile phone, I hit New Note. There's text, snapshot, audio. So I'll create an audio note, just click record. This is the audio note that I'm recording from my Windows mobile phone. Hit stop, then I'll hit done. Give it a title, so let's call it new. I can put tags on it if I want. And it's already, you see, it's already uploading to the web. So it should pull into all these other interfaces. Now if I go into my iPhone and open up Evernote, it's a pretty similar interface to Windows Mobile, so text note, snapshot, I could upload a photo, a voice note, so I'll say snapshot note, turns the camera on. And it takes a snapshot note, I can either retake it or use it. So I'll use it, and once it saves it, it's going to send the, e the note right up to the web and it will push out to all the other applications. It wants to know my location, so I could do that, it will tag the location that I created the note if I want also, and I'll save it. So when I save it, that should push it up to the web also. 
and you'll see it says pending. So if I click on that, it will start syncing it up. And it says it's sending. Back here to the Mac and I click sync. It will pull down the uh, new ones that I just loaded. There's also one other application that I wanted to show you. There's a plugin for Firefox. So it's called the Web Clipper. So if I go here, actually, if I, I go it over here and I click on the little button on the toolbar, I could select a section of text from a web page press the button, it remembers the URL, it remembers the text. I can put tags, te other text in, I'll hit done, and that will send it up to the web also. So again, I'll just come back here to Mac or the PC, either way, I'll hit sync, it will show up. So this is pretty handy if you have a computer at work, you have a computer at home, maybe you have a desktop and a laptop at home, you can see the depends whether, it doesn't matter whether you're using a Linux, Windows, Mac, Windows mobile phone, uh, iPhone, I'm sure they'll probably have one out for a Blackberry soon too and you can capture your notes all the time and anytime you want you can go back and search through them by tags, by titles, it will search the text in them, you could say ones that are photos, videos, audio, whatever you want. So again, a super handy application to keep you organized when you're working, you're trying to take notes, no matter where you are, it allows you to capture your ideas and the things you need to take care of. So that's Evernote for Windows, Mac, Linux, iPhone, and Windows Mobile.